Twitch down YouTube. Today we are going to be looking at some information, hopefully, on the season three expansion for New World. Behind me here is the 2023 roadmap, and as you can see over here, season three and the expansion go into the fall section. Now, if we take a quick look in the game, uh, season two and season three sort of line up at the same time. So about 35 days from now, season two will end and season three will begin. What's going to happen in season three? We have a main storyline quest update, perk balance updates, seasonal and world events, territory influence updates. I believe also we're getting an expansion at the same time as well. From what we heard from the devs, the expansion season three happened at the same time. So we're also getting mounts, a new weapon, new heart rune, gear scar increase, new expedition, a zone transformed. Lots of exciting stuff coming with the season three expansion. However, any specific details, we haven't had them yet. We don't know what the gear scar increase is going to. We don't know what the new weapon is going to be. We kind of do, but in theory, we don't know what the new weapon is. Uh, but today, those questions are hopefully getting answered as we should, in theory, have a new video out just this moment. Hot off the press. Is it here? Oh, here it is, dude. It's only 7 minutes 53. All right, let's go. New World Forge in the Turnum Community Q&A, August 2023. Uh, so in these videos, they basically take questions from the community and then answer them. Uh, so we need a preview of mounts for the love of God. Okay, that's it. That's an exciting. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Quiet Twitch chat. Let's uh, let's behave. Let's do it. Well, we need a preview of mounts for the love of God. Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wish I had some coconuts. Oh no, dude. Is that is that really what it's gonna be? I hope it's. I hope they're actually gonna. We're not getting baited here, dude. This is like. I'm sorry. If this is a clickbait video, by the way, YouTube and Twitch chat. I'm sorry. I, I was hoping there was actually going to be some information. Let's... Okay. It's fine. It'll be good. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Forge in Eternum, where we talk about all things New World. Today, we're here to talk about the August Q&A. Uh, but first, you know, I'm sorry if this is a kind of a, a running theme of the episode, uh, but you're probably wondering, like, hey, they're shooting this in a new location. Yeah. Uh, it's a temporary location, and we're going to explain why we're here on the dev update that's right around the corner. But with that, why don't we just dive into some questions? Wait, that's the next week. Wait, is it next week is the dev update? Okay. Have they been like kicked out of the office? What's going on? With that, why don't we just dive into some questions? When will we receive any information about the upcoming expansion? Yes. I'm so glad you asked that. We have a dev update coming that's going to be a deep dive on the expansion. And on that, we will answer hopefully all of your questions. Will the expansion go to PTR first or straight to live? The expansion will go to PTR first. Okay. Um, but it will be a shorter PTR. More details on that to come. Okay. 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 It's not completely. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Twitch chat is like just losing it right now <laughs> for YouTube. I don't know. Maybe we'll put Twitch chat in the video as well. <laughs> okay. This video doesn't seem like it's going to have substantial information, but we did at least get a confirmation that there is going to be a PTR. Um, considering the video isn't until next week, then the PTR is probably not until next week either. Uh, hold on. We're going to, we'll keep going friends. Maybe there'll be more information. At least we do know there is going to be a PTR. On August 3rd, patch 2.0.2 introduced extreme desync lag and teleporting in Outpost Rush and 3v3 arenas. Mm. This is causing PvP to be very frustrating and difficult to play. What are your plans to fix this and how long will it take? Uh, we yeah, this is an interesting one, by the way. I don't know if you guys have played Outpost Rush recently. It doesn't happen to everybody. Some people, it's fine. Like, when I play Outpost Rush, it's okay. But I was watching some footage of um, Welps playing it, and he had, like, a man with a hammer teleport in behind him, <laughs> use Wrecking Ball, and then he teleported away again. It was completely bizarre. Uh, my suspicion, I think what Dave is about to say here, and we should probably just play the video, but I think he's going to say, we're going to fix it in the expansion. Don't worry. Uh, let's see. We are very aware of this. Uh, thank you for letting us know. It is one of our top priorities. We are working on it uh, as hard as we can. You know, uh, desync is very complicated, so we, we haven't exactly got the root cause of this yet. Mm. We are working on it. Uh, good news is we have we do have some specific fixes for there's a hatchet desync, a fire staff. So we've got some specific fixes already coming in. They'll come in with the expansion uh, and we're working hard on it and hope to be able to give an update uh, with positive news on it soon. Are there any plans? I told you, chat. I know, dude. I got the I got the AGS brain. <laughs> We're gonna fix it in the expansion. I knew it, man. We're working on it. It'll be in the expansion. 
to rework faction store rewards. Like there are a few things that everyone buys, but mostly everything there is useless. True. When you increase your rank, you already have better gear than what a store offers. Maybe add some craft mods there as well, or make some rotation of rewards. Sorry, okay. that I know you don't like when we don't answer your questions directly. This is going to be answered in the dev update where we talk about the uh, expansion. And, and so there, I guess the short answer is there is going to be some changes coming with the expansion, but it's just not something we're prepared to talk about today. Next week. There's a lot of the concern with crit multipliers with this removal of resilient. Can we please get a bit of clarification on this? Uh, so we okay. are removing resilient when we remove wards and banes. Uh, Good to know. That obviously is going to make certain builds stronger uh, because now you have less protection against crit. Mm -hmm. uh, what we are going to do is we're going to inherently bake in uh, some crit protection based on equip load. So that will be coming in to compensate oh. for the loss of this. Again, sort of with our theme here, it's you don't have to get this mandatory perk. Instead, we're going to make it inherent on the character. I don't know. Yeah, so I, I missed that. Uh, I, had to, I had to play that clip back because I didn't hear him say equip load the first time. But yeah, so you'll get more resilient if you're in heavy or medium compared to light. So light players are going to continue to be squishier and squishier. I mean, it, I mean, it's fair enough. You know, the dodges, you, you do get access to the dodge roll and most people play light in like solo PvP anyway. But heavy armor is just going to, yeah, healers are going to get melted even more so. <laughs> heavy, yeah, maybe heavy healers coming back just because we're going to die too fast otherwise. All right, next question. Let's go. All right. And for Warden Banes, I know you said you'll be getting rid of them, but... Uh, what does that mean for trophies? Yeah, does of, that mean we will have this. no combat trophies for each enemy type, or will Banes and Wards be two different trophy types? Mm. We will continue to have the trophies that we have now. Uh, I think the reason we didn't like the Wards and Banes is because it, it made gear feel, uh, like we said, mandatory and like you had to get that. But I think as a one-time chase to get the trophies, I think it is fun. Uh, it is just for that last little bit of damage. You'll only need them in like the highest level mutator M3... Uh, Sorry, in the highest level mutators coming up. Oh, oh, spoilers, dude! Spoils. Was that, they could have edited that out though? Was that was that a cheeky? Was that a highest highest being M three? Look at this cheeky smile, dude. They could have cut that. Are they, are they just going no cuts? <laughs> M three is the highest mutation. Hold on, let's rewind one more time. Bring it back. Uh, like we said, mandatory and like you had to get that. But I think as a one-time chase to get the trophies, I think it is fun. Uh, it is just for that last little bit of damage. You'll only need them in like the highest level mutator M3. Uh, sorry, in the highest level mutators coming up. Okay. When is the overhaul to territory influence? Pushing territory uh. is so boring. I think that was... I'm confused. <laughs> that was... Is that intentional? <laughs> Scott didn't react at all. <laughs> just keep rolling. Just go with it. We'll, just, we'll bleep it out. <laughs> Bad acting. That was a weird one. I missed, I'm sorry. I keep missing the questions because I'm just taking in it. What is the overhaul for territory influence? Okay. Territory is so boring. So I hate to do this to you again, uh, but we do have the influence changes coming up, the changes to pushing a territory, and we're going to be discussing that more uh, in the upcoming dev update. So stay tuned. It is coming out rather quickly. Next week. Well, we need a preview of mounts for the love of God. Cool. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wish I had some coconuts. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah good. <laughs> I need to just put like the YouTube, the, the title of this video is just going to be next week. <laughs> next week. I mean, they're coming and they're awesome and we're really happy about them and we'll be seeing more and sharing more with you over time. But like, we're really not talking about the expansion yet, but we are very soon going to be talking about this stuff. Next week. All right. Um, I would really like an update on when the music sheets from Medley Fair will be added to the game. Okay. Uh, so they are in the game, but there's a bug where they're in the wrong root buckets. Uh, we are aware of that. In the Season 3 expansion release, this will be fixed, and you will be able to get them. Pog. All right. I only have one more question. You're burning through this fast, but I know we're saving some of the substance for the dev update we're doing very soon. So I'm going to ask this next one. Um, how will you deal with current roots of acquiring BIS gear in Season 3? The improvements to the PvP track have helped a little, 
but in general, acquiring a full BIS set uh, requires company treasury sized budgets, and there is little way to work towards this through general exploring, gathering, play due to the expensive and RNG based crafting systems. That's a good question. Well, the good news here is there's a lot of news coming. We actually have a special Bounce of Power episode where we dive deep on this and we'll answer this question. Uh, brief, brief preview. It is getting a lot better. You're going to be getting more control and you'll learn much more in that bounce of power. I think it's a safe bet that this okay. is a huge focus for the loot is a this huge week. Okay, focus this for week. the expansion. And this week, you know, yeah. We, we, we debated even like doing the Q&A because like, we see all the questions are about the expansion, but we've made a commitment to doing them. However, we also want to hold true to our goals for the expansion and, and like talk about that when we're when we're fully ready. So. I'm aware we didn't answer a lot of your questions this time, and I hope you're patient. The dev update's right around the corner, and you're going to see a lot of those be answered and more. And additionally, you know, some of the feedback we got because we listen to the community, we hear what your concerns are. Mm. Um, we heard that you don't like when we say, you know, this is also something that we would like, but we don't have anything to share right now. So if your question wasn't answered in this and it wasn't answered, or it's not answered in one of our upcoming videos, because we have a lot coming out over the next couple of weeks that should answer most, if not all of those questions. If it's not answered, it's likely one of those where we don't have anything to share right now, um, but we will as soon as we do. So keep asking the questions. We don't mind that you keep asking it. We like that. We want to know what's important and what's top of mind for you. So keep asking. And then once we have a direct yes, a direct no, then we'll include it in one of the Q&As or a dev update or a balance of power. Fair enough. So with that, we really appreciate your patience. We're so excited to talk about the expansion and news is coming really soon. Um, otherwise, We'll see you in Eternal. The, by the way, I don't know if we have any detectives like in chat or whatever. I know that I've seen people play like GeoGuessa and they can like tell where you are in the world just by looking at like a background or something. Does anybody know like, does this look like uh, the usual place? I think they're in Irvine. Uh, Irvine? Irvine? Is that how you say it? California? I wonder if this is the same office or have they moved somewhere else? Like, I don't know if anybody recognizes. I mean, it's a pretty, it's just a big white office block. It'd be kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, let's see. Sometimes at the end of the video, they have a little spoiler. Let's see. Later, everyone. I kind of have this anxiety about spending these umbral shards that take a lot of time and effort to earn, and we, re we recognize that. So in order to smooth out that process, items are just going to drop at the, high, the higher item levels uh, appropriate to the content that you're doing. You don't need to invest an extra resource into leveling them up or anything. There you go, dude. Items dropping at 625 gear score. I think we learned that one in the previous ward video. Well, you know, I mean, it's got to be said. I, I mean, I'm looking at Twitch chat right now and probably the YouTube comments. I think some people are uh, feeling a little bit baited. I mean, I kind of am as well. I will say they did acknowledge it. They under, you know, Scott and Katie were talking about it to the wards the end here. They understand that, you know, they, they, they that it's a bit frustrating and <laughs> that they want to give information sooner. It just seems a bit confusing though, because I feel like the people who make the decisions about when they release this information is these guys, you know, they're, they're the top dogs of, of New World's Amazon Game Studios. So they're like apologizing for their own actions. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused, um, but you know, they're aware of it at least. So yeah, probably no PTR this week chat. Maybe that could change. Um, seems like next week is, is the video. What were the big takeaways that we got from this video? Uh, resilient is being removed, confirmed. It is not just ward, it is also resilient. Uh, there will be a PTR for season three. There is going to be a season three PTR. Trophies will continue to be useful. Um, resilience is getting baked in, but it's based on your equip load. Um, yeah, there was that accidental leak that uh, mutation 10 is probably going to mutation three instead. So uh, instead of going M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, all the way up to 10, it's just going to be M1, M2, and M3, which sounds much better, to be honest. Sounds much better. Uh, was there anything else? I think that was it, right? I mean, it was only a seven minute video and most of the <laughs> most of the answers was next week. <laughs> I think that was it. Well, uh, YouTube, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure you go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. Sorry. Uh, I thought this video was going to be a bit more substantial than it was, but I guess there's always going to be the next video, which if you guys do want to see, you will have to uh, click the subscribe button and then you get notified when the videos come out. All right, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.